I am an artist. I am an artist that strives for technical excellence. In everything I do, technical processes are what excite me. Whether it's breaking down the specific etches for processing a lithographic stone, or understanding the underlying chemistry of a ceramic glaze, the processes excite me. I have gone through the trials and tribulations of unlocking my artistic potential that all students of any age go through. I've tried, I failed, and failed, and failed again, and failed a little more. But from each trial, I've learned far more than if everything went perfectly. I think failure is an important and integral part of the learning process. Failure is not something negative. Even though my students may fail at something, the growth and knowledge acquired is far greater than any end product. I have achieved my technical excellence from my failures, and I want my students to view failure in the same light that I do. Acquiring my technical skills is not something that I could have done alone. I have worked under the guidance of many great artists and educators, such as master printmaker Evan Summer and renowned ceramicist Gwendolyn Yapolo. I admire them not only for their work and their charisma, but because they have offered me a vast wealth of knowledge that is invaluable and unattainable from any one book or video. These artists have been there for me whenever I have had a question. These artists were able to correct my course and set me on the right path. I aspire to be like them. I strive to be an educator that can answer any question, fix any problem, and guide any student. Art is many things, a form of self-expression, a creative release, a therapeutic endeavor, the list goes on. It is for this reason that art is a priceless pursuit. There is an issue, however, that students can become discouraged and frustrated when the technical side of art making becomes too challenging. This in turn may inhibit students' artistic pursuits. This is where I step in. I want to be the student's artistic technician guiding them through their difficulties and helping them achieve their greatest artistic potential. I want to relieve my students from all technical difficulties, allowing them to express their unwavering creativity without being inhibited by the processes of art making. I want to be an educator that never turns down an idea. Rather, I want to be an educator that gets excited with my students and is driven to help make their ideas a reality. I want to use everything that I've learned, all the trials and tribulations, all the failures, I want to use everything to help students create the masterpieces they have always envisioned.